so we we'll see what is abap what is sap what is erp okay what is erp what is erp ajay enterprise, enterprise resource plan enterprise resource plan erp is a software product okay which is already designed in any programming language or any software it is a product ready to use product usually erp is a ready to use product sap is a product like microsoft office okay so when we talk about microsoft office we can buy that microsoft office software and we can install in our system and we can start using we don't need to write any coding okay it's ready to use product similarly sap is also a ready to use product for any business to run a business what we call such kind of uh, softwares erp enterprise resource planning softwares so how it is different from the other softwares so in erp we have integration between the different departments of the company or organization let's say if you talk about reliance they have different business and they have different many factories and offices and they have lakhs of employees okay to run all this business they should have separate departments like <laughs> production which produce materials or any goods okay let's say ac ac production ac manufacturing there should be a factory okay to maintain employees of that factory there should be a hr department human resource department okay to recruit the new employees or or to promote the employees or to uh, manage the employees there should be a hr department and when they are uh, producing the materials they should sell it right they should sell it to some customer right let's say they they manufactured a ac they have to sell it to the customer right so that they should have a sales department so using erp we can integrate different departments like sales production human resource material management finance Fina who pay the salaries to the workers finance finance department okay and who manages the employees human resource department so in erp sap provided programs screens transaction codes which are helpful to run the business they are all pre designed you don't need to write any code it's a ready to use product okay sap is just erp product okay which integrates different departments of a organization or a company okay let's say hr department recruited a new employee the employee salary details will go to finance department okay and in the factory they have manufactured a new new uh, product that product department should go to sales department okay to manufacture that product we need raw materials okay to purchase those, those raw materials okay we have to ask for material management department okay so we have to create purchase orders we have to create sales orders all this data should be integrated so that there is no communication delay between different departments sap provides sap erp product provides that integration okay and what is oltp system <coughs> oltp means online transaction processing system OLAP means there are two types of systems, software systems. One is OLTP and another one is OLAP system. We call it as OLTP and OLAP system. OLTP means online transaction processing. 
OLAP means online analytical processing okay so first we'll see about OLTP OLTP is online transaction processing which is used for daily transactions okay what is OL, OLAP OLAP used to analyze the historical data last 10 years sales data or last 10 years production data for that purpose we use OL, OLAP systems OL, OLTP systems used for is only used for daily transactions for example bank system banking system when you go to the bank they use OLTP system to create transactions withdrawals or deposits anything they use it they use they create in OLTP system okay let's say if they want to analyze your last five years deposits or your last five years withdrawals for that purpose they use OLAP system they store historical data in OLAP system they don't store okay companies won't store historical data in OLTP system let's say they store only last one year data in OLTP systems okay they store historical data in the OLAP systems okay this is the example of this is the example of OLTP system customer bank transactions in OLTP systems we can do create change delete okay this is called up database operational data what we call operational data operational data means which is really required in the current day okay your current day bank uh, balance is the operational data you create if you withdraw something it will create a new record withdrawal re withdrawal record and bank balance will be reduced in your account that such uh, transaction we called as OLTP system okay this is only for daily transactions in this OLTP system we store only limited time of data let's say last one year data of the customer what is OLTP system OLAP system is used to analyze the historical data okay last 10 years data last 20 years data let's say there is a factory they want to see in the month of September which product has higher sales in the last 10 years okay and a September nello lo ye product ekku ga sale ho thundi last 10 years ninchi a product ekku ga sale ho thundi so year goda nina product ekku ga manufacture chase pet ko chou analysis mana OLAP system la jas thou dini ki data ekka nincho sa di OLAP system ki the data will come from OLTP system only they maintain separate system for OLAP that's for analytical purpose to make business decisions okay which product we have to make in September which product we should make we should not make in September okay in which branch is performing well and which which branch of is not is doing or not doing good this kind of analysis we we do it in OLAP systems okay okay OLAP systems okay daily transactions we move to OLAP system from OLTP system at the end of the day daily at the end of the day let's say we are taking the bank bank example right after closing the bank hours after the bank hours all the transactions created in OLTP system will be moved to OLAP system using ETL process what we call this ETL, ETL process extraction transformation and load all transaction will be loaded to OLAP system okay all transaction will be lo loaded to OLAP system and here we maintain historical data last 10 years 20 years data why we can't create analysis on analytical reports on OLTP system why we can't create why can't we do it in OLTP itself why we are maintaining two different systems because OLTP is only for transactions to create withdrawals or deposits this is not to analyze the last 10 years 20 years data because it will create huge impact on the performance of the OLTP system okay 
let's say you are running OLTP system in the bank without using OLTP system you are trying to write a select query for the last 10 years data on this database tables on the OLTP system then the system performance will be reduced you may observe sometimes that bank servers may not work properly or very slow that is because when you are doing other jobs on the same systems okay system performance will be slow to avoid that we create a different system and load the data to the OLTP system and we do analysis on this system we don't disturb the transactions because they are very important day to day transactions are very important that's why we don't disturb the OLTP system and we move all the data into different system that's what we call OLTP system OLTP, o, OLTP is for daily transactions OLAP is for data analysis of historical data okay